welcome back to Xamini Rex. So, um, today is Monday morning and I thought I would do a weekly vlog for you because I was chatting to loads of you last week on Twitter, asking those questions about what you'd like to see and so many of you said you'd like to see a weekly vlog or more vlogs or daily vlogs or whatever. So, I thought I'd give it a go. I've um, got quite an exciting week so um, I thought I'd bring you along with me. It's my first time ever doing like a proper weekly vlog so bear with me I hope it's not too rambly because <laughs> I do like a good natter um but yeah leave me lots of comments let me know how you're getting on down below so Monday morning well it's like 10 past 10 on Monday morning so I've just been up doing my emails and my admin uh Monday's all Monday morning is always like email day admin day oh I think I've bit my lip okay um admin day email day and uh, replying to comments because I switch my emails off on a Friday night so it's like a proper job and I have my weekend uh, so yeah admin 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 on Monday morning I'm also going along to a fitness class tonight um Joe's mum is dragging me along to a legs bums and tums class never been to one of those before and I also haven't done the exercise in about six months so uh it's going to be interesting can't say I'm looking forward to it but we're going to get back on that horse and we're going to try it um considering that my arm is aching just from holding this camera up does not bode well Stalking the Ocado man. Ooh, shopping. I love Ocado deliveries. It makes me feel like it's Christmas Day because I order it and then I've forgotten what I've ordered. And it's like, ooh, forgot we had that. Ooh, forgot we had that. Interesting. Now I've got to put it away. Talking to you, naughty puppy. Did you knock over my plant? He knocked over my plant. I'm officially off to legs, bums, and tums. Wish me all the luck in the world. <laughs> Tuesday um so today I am taking Wilson to the vets um because he's really skinny still <laughs> and we can't get him to put on weight and we took him to the vets at the weekend and the vet said that he's really old so he's got a heart murmur so his weight loss could be to do with his heart murmur but they want to do a load of blood tests just to make sure that it's nothing more sinister so um he has got an appointment at 11:50. so I'm just going to go and meet Joe's mum because uh, she lives around the corner and she's off today so she's going to walk with me to the vets so I've got someone to take um, with me so it's not too bad like doing it on my own. Um, but I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast I think today because the sun is shining and I feel really healthy. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the plan for the morning and then back in the afternoon and work, work, work. We've got a video to film for you and bringing back an old video uh like concept that you guys really liked so I'm going to film that for you and I've also got a couple of other things to edit and I'm going to paint some nails for Halloween as well so um, busy day actually today but um, best get walking I think Wilson is still upstairs asleep because in the morning he comes and um, sleeps next to the side of the bed next to me because Jolie's quite early in the morning um, and I'm just not a morning person so I always have like an extra half an hour, an extra hour in bed um, and Wilson comes and sleeps next to me by the bed but when I got up this morning he was dreaming and doing the whole like ooh, 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 thing in his sleep um, so when I got out of bed he just didn't hear, he was like gone, absolutely gone so I'm going to have to like carry him to the vets I think he's lazier than me blood taken he's very very good in the vet he's had a lovely long walk and he seems seems really happy so i do hope there's nothing wrong with him um but we'll see they said two days and then they'll give me a call and let me know um so yeah it's always really oh my fitbit's buzzing Eight thousand steps guys we've done really well today feel very very nice the weather is gorgeous um so just stopped for a coffee with joe's mum because she came with me she does love wilson um, and now we're going to go back and do some work. So Joe's just come 
home from work and he surprised me with a little present. He's got, <laughs> he bought me The Sims 4 because we were talking ages ago about um, how we used to play silly games when we were younger. His was always like football manager and stuff. And I was obsessed with The Sims. And I was always saying, I was always really sad because when I was working full time and doing my vlog on my YouTube, I never had any time in the evenings. And I was like, oh, I'd really love to rediscover The Sims, but I've just got no time for it. But obviously now I'm full time, I've got my evenings back and I completely forgot, but he remembered. Um, so I can play The Sims now like a proper geek. <laughs> I just love it. I just absolutely love this game. And especially with it like getting really dark in the evenings and stuff and not really being able to do much in the winter. It's just like the perfect present. So it's a really, really cute little surprise. I love it. And he's also taking me out for dinner tonight as well so we don't have to cook, which is also a bonus. So I'm having a really good day. <laughs> Drink, Mum. Hooray! <laughs> hey guys, so we've just been to see Matilda. Absolutely loved it. Did you love it? Yeah. It was amazing. Really, really loved it. Trunchbull was hilarious. So was Mr. Wormwood. And it was just. Yeah. The whole cast was brilliant. Everyone was brilliant. Even little Matilda. I don't know how the little kids remember everything. Oh, it's fantastic. So. We are just in Covent Garden and we are on a mission to find Mum a new iPhone 6 because she's decided that she wants one. So that's where we're going. And then we're going to go and get some lunch and then it's time for the train home. I do love London. So many people around and it's just such a lovely atmosphere. And the weather has stayed fantastic. And we made it on time, which is amazing. So yeah, good day. So it's Thursday morning. Um, I'm just at mum and dad's house, just doing a bit of editing in bed. Um, we had such a fun day in London yesterday. The show was amazing. It was really, really good. Um, super, super exciting. We just came out buzzing and humming the tunes and I can't wait to write all my review. Uh, so that'll be going up on my blog next week. So definitely check it out. I'll try and leave a link below if I remember. Um, so plans for today are do a bit of editing and then I am going to see my old kickboxing structure. Um, for a one-on-one -on -one session for about 45 minutes to an hour in well very soon actually so I should probably get a move on which I'm really looking forward to but really dreading at the same time because I haven't done kickboxing for about six months because I did my back in and I am so unfit so I and he said he's not going to take any like prisoners even though I haven't done it for six months he's just gonna push me <laughs> so I'm really really scared but I'm also really excited to get my gloves back on um and then after that I'm gonna go home then do a little bit more, more work try and squeeze in a bit uh try and write my Matilda review and then I'm off to the theatre again tonight um so I'm going to Wolverhampton to see Shrek the Musical with my lovely friend Lucy um they've invited us along and I think we're going to get a backstage tour as well which is really exciting so I'll try and bring you along with me so we can see some of the costumes and what goes on behind the scenes so yeah theatred out this week but I'm not complaining because I absolutely love it um so yes I'm going to go and get my gym gear on and get ready to have a sweaty session um, and then if I'm still alive I'll, uh, I'll chat to you later. Oh my god I look like a tomato that was really 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 tough ah oh, Craig did not take any prisoners um, and I'm pretty sure I just look like a giant sweaty mess uh, swearing at him the whole way through. That was really hard, but oh my god, I've missed it. So we did a load of um, circuit work to start off with, and then we did some pad work as well. And it's amazing how like your muscles remember. 
because even though I was absolutely knackered and my form was probably off when I was punching and kicking I, my, I felt like my muscles had just remembered straight away uh, it was oh, it was amazing I really miss kickboxing but I, just, <laughs> I look like a beetroot and I'm just sweating and my arm feels like it's about to fall off my left arm is just dead so anyway I now got to try and drive home and then uh have a shower oh my god and then i've got to walk to the station as well later this fitness malarkey i'm either all out or none at all <laughs> that's probably not the way to do it um but yes loved it that was great so i'm just about to get in the shower after the longest drive home ever for some reason it just took ages and now i'm running late I'm about to take my leggings off and i realized that i've got a giant hole in the bum right here giant hole in the bottom of my leggings thanks for that primark hey guys so i'm just walking to the station now um wash my hair put some makeup on put some clothes without holes in on um, and i'm feeling good but the uh, the only problem is because i've got to walk for about 40 minutes i always go in my gym shoes so i'm like really really smart with gym shoes on at the bottom so it must look like a right weirdo and um, but yeah so i'm just walking to the station to meet my friend lucy so we can go to wolverhampton to watch shrek and i'm really excited so we made it to wolverhampton this is lucy everybody hello <laughs> and the theater is literally just there it's right next to the train station so we're here early we don't really know what to do with ourselves what does one do in wolverhampton when they've got 25 minutes to kill get a drink find a bar Shrek the Musical and it was really really fun. Do you love it? It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> really loved it. We got to see how all of all the costumes worked. We got to see some of the uh, the big dragon behind stage and I'm really really excited to go in now and see see it from the other side. We got some really good shots didn't we yes. from backstage. <laughs> Felt like a superstar. So we're gonna go in now and we're gonna go and watch the show. Friday, hooray! Um, so last night I went to go and see Shrek at the Wolverhampton Grand with my friend Lucy and we had such an amazing time. I really wasn't expecting the musical to be as funny as it was, to be as good as it was, um, but actually it's it was amazing. Like it's become one of my favourites and I feel feel like I wouldn't be taken seriously as a theatre reviewer if I say that Shrek is my favourite musical. It hasn't quite taken over Wicked yet, um, but it was, it was just so damn good. The voices were amazing, the jokes were on point, the set, the puppets, the costumes, everything. It was just, oh, it was so feel good. It was amazing. Loved it. So if you get a chance to go and watch it, it's doing a tour, um, definitely get tickets. Even if you've got no kids, honestly, there's so much for the adults in there. It's brilliant. So this is my morning face. Just woken up, very attractive. Um, today is a really busy day um, because I've been out and about the last two days so I've got a bit of catching up to do. So I need to finish editing the video that I started to do yesterday. I've also got some work to do with all things hair. Doing a lovely tutorial for them on super shiny hair, which is nice. Um, what else am I doing? Halloween nails blog post. Uh, and they're writing up my Matilda and Shrek reviews. So I've got a lot to do today. Whether we'll get it all done, I don't know, but we'll try. Um, today is definitely a PJ day and a blanket day because it's actually really, really sunny outside, but it's really cold in the house and I don't know why. So um, I'm going to be snuggled up under my blanket in my pyjamas working away like a little blogging beaver today. Um, and I'm actually quite excited to just have a day at home. I love being out and about, but it's nice to have a day at home afterwards to kind of just recharge and do everything that you need to do and catch up. Just had a parcel delivered. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks clayey. Cool. Excited to try that. Thank you very much, Mira Maya. Might give that a go this afternoon. Scare my little office buddy, Wilson. Do you want to do a face mask? Are you still alive? Hello. 
Yeah, Wilson's not doing any work today. <laughs> so I'm just making some lunch. Um, it's like half past two. <sighs> it's been such a busy morning. I've edited both of my videos um, and edited my Halloween nails um, and picked them off as well. <laughs> so like, as soon as I took the picture, I was like, oh, I'm gonna peel these off. Really naughty, but it's so satisfying when you've got a really thick layer of polish on, it all just comes off in one. If anyone else do that, I do. It's probably, you probably shouldn't do. Um, so I'm just about to have some lunch. Um, I'm having a Covent Garden soup. Carrot and butternut squash, and it smells really, really nice. Uh, and then this afternoon, what's left of it, uh, I've got to write three blog posts, which is going to be a challenge, but it's fine. Um, and my arms are still really hurting. <laughs> They're just getting worse and worse from the kickboxing yesterday. I just, I could, I'm really hurting to hold the camera up. Every time I get up from the sofa, I'm just like, oh, I've broken. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a bath later <laughs> when Jake comes home. I think we've got some tuna steaks for tea, which would be really nice. We might have to make him cook that while I go and have a bath. morning uh, we just having a really chilled one today Joe's making a bacon sandwich in here are you making it is it nearly done <gasps> no, no, it's not. no there's the bacon it needs to turn. bacon sandwiches on Saturday are a must Wilson is sniffing the bacon you know that there's something going on and I am installing the sims hooray look yeah 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 I'm really excited I can't wait to play it um, and we're just having a coffee from our coffee machine so that's Saturday morning in the X Media X household. Um, normally we'd be rushing around doing stuff, so it's actually really nice not to be not to have to do anything until a bit later. So what we are going to do a bit of a last minute plan today. Um, I'm supposed to go out with my friend, but we've had to cancel. So uh, what we are doing instead is we're going to go out for tea to a nice pub that we uh, go to often, uh, and then we're going to go around to Joe's mum and dad's house and watch the rugby. Um, I'm not a big rugby fan, I must admit. But I feel like I need to learn, I feel like I need to get involved because it's the World Cup. So as long as there's beer, I'm happy. And we're going to walk Wilson round and we're just going to have a night there. So it's going to be quite a chill day, but that will be lovely. Um, currently got the NFL on the telly because Joe's a massive NFL fan. And he's going to watch it tomorrow in Wembley. Um, so yeah, I probably will wash my hair and put some makeup on at some point. So you don't have to see me with a naked face any longer. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to quite a chill day actually. It's nice when you get days where you don't really have to do a lot. Um, it's very rare that we get those these days. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Sunday morning at ridiculous o'clock. Um, <laughs> Joe has uh, just gone off to his friend's house to go and see the NFL in Wembley, so I've dropped him off at his friend's house. Um, he always comes and picks me up from the theatre, so I feel I felt like I owe him <laughs> a lift at some point. But yeah, it's like a half past eight, um, and I'm still half asleep. No, it's absolutely fine. My shoulder is really hurting from kickboxing the other day, so when his alarm went off this morning, I couldn't get back to sleep anyway, so yeah, that's why I'm up so early. Um, the only good thing about being up this early, because I never get up early at the weekend, I like my sleep. <sighs> <laughs> like a hot mess right now. I'm also collecting spots. I've got one there and two on my nose. I think it's from my face mask the other day. Um, but they're not like nasty spots. They're just like cleansing spots. So I assume that uh, that's the reason why. Um, I was say, yeah, the only good reason uh, to be up this early in the morning is I'm going for afternoon tea with my friend this afternoon. Uh, and not till three o'clock. And even if I take a walk into town, because it does look like it's going to be quite a nice day, I don't have to leave the house until two, which means about five hours on The Sims. <laughs> I'm addicted already. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. I might go back to bed with a cup of tea and play The Sims. That's really sad, isn't it? 27 year old woman. I need to sort my life out. Also, I've just seen, uh, we've just driven past a car boot sale and I didn't realise that they were still on. 
Like, I remember mum and dad going and dragging me around a car boot sale and getting, like, people's old crap that they don't even want for, like, 50p. Car boot sales are still going. 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning. They were loving it. So many people there. It's a phenomenon that baffles me. I feel like... But there's so many of you guys out there who will probably still go to car boot sales and will probably be commenting going, oh, they're amazing, you can get so much stuff. I just don't understand why you want to buy people's old crap in a field at 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Nah. <laughs> oh, I think if you're under the age of 65 and you go to a car boot sale, you need to take a look at your life. There's going to be so many of you commenting going, well, I think if you're over the age of 16 and you're playing The Sims, <laughs> you need to take a look at your life. And to that, I would say, touche. Uh, no, I'm only joking, of course. Uh, it's just not really my bag. I'd much rather be still in bed. I'm just grumpy because I'm not in bed. <laughs> just like making fun of everybody. Because uh, I have had to get up so early. Yeah. This is my Sunday so far. <laughs> I'm meeting my friend Lucy in a bit for um, afternoon tea so I thought I'd bring her a few products that I've got in my um, to give away bag and that's just like beauty products that I've received that I've already got or that don't really suit me colour wise. Um, I always save them up and then give them to friends just in case they might like them as well. So I got this at the Barry M event I went to the other week but I'm really not a big lip gloss person um, so I thought Lucy might like that. This is a really nice set actually, bronzer, brusher and highlighter palette. So I was talking, to, talking to Lucy about how she can um, highlight and contour, but she hasn't got any of the stuff to do it. So I thought that would be really useful for her. And I've got loads of blush and contour already. Um, and then also the Barry M Deep Glow Dark Bronzer as well to help with contouring. She was also looking for um, a primer recently, and I said that uh, Benefits Professional is my favourite. I haven't got any full-size versions of it at the moment, but I've got this um, little palette, which has got all these goodies in it. So it's got Agent Zero Shine, it's got uh, the new license to blot, Dr. Feelgood, and then a mini professional as well. So if uh, that's a really good gift for Christmas if you can find one in your local Debenhams. Um, a Body Shop uh, cream that I didn't get on with but um, she said she might like to try the Drops of Youth Concentrate. Some nail varnish colours, uh, another blusher and, and something to tame eyebrows with. So I'm going to pop them all in the little bag that Joan gave me earlier on in the week. Reuse, recycle um, and take them as just a little present for her. Hey guys, so um, I just had a shower and I've got changed, put some makeup on, did my hair. And I've got a tutorial coming for this um, top knot. I'm not sure when it's going to go up because I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up. Um, but it's coming very, very soon. I filmed it and scheduled it. So if you want to find out how to do this super simple but very snazzy top knot, then you'll be able to see that soon. Um, so I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. I'm waiting for Lucy to come pick me up. Just run up and down the stairs. I'm really out of breath. Oh my god. Um, so this is my outfit of the day. Uh, this is one of the dresses that I've made, um, it's the walkaway dress from anybody who watches uh, the Great British Sewing Bee, uh, you might recognise the style of it, it's called the walkaway dress and it's got this really really cute like fox pattern on it. Um, it's, yellow is a really tricky colour to wear but while I've got a tan I thought I'd rock it and it's also a really lovely day so yeah and then I've just put it with this really simple beige cardigan from Primark uh, and then I have my Marc Jacobs watch which is not in focus, there you go uh, and my bracelet that Joe got me for Valentine's Day I've tried out a new palette from Barry M let me show you all of Joe's dry cleaning hangers on my bloody door uh, where is it? here it's like the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette um, and it's really cute, I like it very good Barry M so we're gonna go out for afternoon tea now. Um, I'm really, really hungry actually. I don't think I've eaten anything today. Oh, I had a tiny little slice of cake with my Earl Grey cup of tea, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, really, really hungry. Um, I'm excited to see Lucy and give her her presents. Wilson is fast asleep for a change. Oh, hello. And he seems to be sleeping with his ball. Just in there, I don't know why. Why are you doing that? Are you sleeping with your ball? That can't be very comfortable. You are so silly. You've got very soft ears. So yeah, that's pretty much my Sunday. Um, and then I think I'm going to come home 
and take Wilson for a walk because it is super, super sunny. I feel like I need to get outside um, before I go back on The Sims. <laughs> a good 20 minutes which is nice and I felt really good to be outside I do like being outside when the sun's nice and it's supposed to be going horrible again tomorrow so I mm, thought I'd get my last dose of sunshine before winter really rolls in so um rest of the evening haven't really got a lot planned I might watch a bit of 90210 maybe paint my nails again um maybe play on some of the sims <laughs> and then Joe should be back about 10 so I'll catch up with him see how his day was and then probably head to bed so I'm probably gonna sign this vlog off here because it will be long enough already um but I do hope you enjoyed watching you have to let me know leave me a comment or tweet me at xameliarx and let me know if you enjoyed weekly vlogs I enjoyed weekly vlogging. I did forget sometimes to vlog, but um, I think we did quite well for a first one. So uh, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it and uh, if you want to see some more, and I'll definitely film those for you. But as always, don't forget to like and uh, share the video if you can and click that subscribe button if you are new. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I hope you've had a lovely week as well and I'll see you again soon. Bye!